I don't know what it is about basing that makes me so incredibly nervous. I've been putting off this video for like weeks now. I've had several minis that have been finished being painted, but I haven't based because I've, I've never done it before and I don't know why it gets me really, really nervous. But I really want my orchid tyranids to be complete and look really, really nice because I've, I've put a lot of passion and work into this one. So I'm gonna do it, but I'm really, really nervous. I have a few things that are with me today to help me get started here. I've heard a lot of different ways that you can base stuff with like Elmer's glue and sand from your backyard and even cat litter and things like that. But I was still way too nervous to try anything that would require my tinkering, I guess, <laughs> until I at least get a few down that I'm happy with. So I got some really basic Vallejo earth texture bottle that's sort of just placed in like cure in like 45 minutes and it should be done. And that sounds pretty easy. I also have this like cool grass looking stuff. Um, it looks more like moss, but I was thinking the orchid tyranids would be very lush almost jungle, just like a, a lush landscape. It's not gonna be very barren. So I thought really bright, mossy green on the earth texture will make it feel really, really earthy, I guess. And some things I really wanted to try, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a resin 3D printer. I've had one for several years and I've printed so many things. It's one of the few things that I actually am confident that I know how to do well. Not that there's too much to it. All this stuff back here, these, Three cubes total are all things that I've 3D printed. I really wanted to try utilizing that for the bases for the bigger models. So I use the STL files from Make It Epic. They specifically make terrain pieces for basing and they looked really, really cool. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just thought they looked really nice and I can use them to print multiple things multiple times and get whatever look I want even in the future. So. I'm gonna try out some of them. I printed out some little leaves, some little flowers. But yeah, I'm gonna use it, these 3D printed stuff on a lot of the bigger models. And then for the termagants, I'm just gonna stick with this earth texture and some of this mossy stuff. I don't know for my termagants and for the Leviathan box stuff, if you should paint the mini first and then do the basing. It seems like you should base it so that it cures and doesn't get all over your model. I don't know if you're supposed to base first or last. I probably should have looked that up before I started filming this, but we're gonna go forward. I'm going to base the lictor that I painted a few weeks ago, as well as the trigon, and then a few of the termagants that are not painted yet. That's going to be later. There's a lot of them, so it's going to take a long time for me to get through the Leviathan box, but I definitely plan to. But yeah, and just see how it goes. Thankfully, all the termagants are snap on so I can just pull them right off and paint them and then snap them back on when I do these bases. So it should hopefully go smoothly. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>
Uh, so already, um, I feel like I made a big timing goof. Uh, I put on the cool 3D printed stuff on the bigger bases before I even primed them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, especially with the lictor, cause now it's stuck on there completely unprimed. Uh, I might later today, once everything is cured fully, pull out the airbrush and try to block it and like quickly airbrush prime it and then that way I can paint it later. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I feel like I'm getting in my own head here, just trying to figure out what to do. It looks simple enough every time I see things, but the timing of stuff is really throwing me off because I don't want to ruin paint jobs. I don't know how you're supposed to paint it or do it after a paint job or before it. How are you going to hold it? I feel clearly I'm very flustered and I don't know why. The termagant bases are looking pretty good. I'm not sure what more I could do. I'm gonna wait till they dry and see what else can even be done. But yeah, well, I like what I did with the lictor. I have no idea how I'm going to paint those things. So we'll see. I also, it's too big and drying, so I'm not gonna pick it up. But I also put down the earth texture and put those really big, tall grass 3D models that I did. I sort of blew, doubled the size of it, which doesn't make sense because it's supposed to be one to one how big it is in real life. So if I'd stuck with the normal size, it would have shown how big the trigon is. But I also wanted him to have a really standout base and having these tiny little pieces of grass next to this giant monster seems a little weird. So I made really, really tall grass <laughs> and put them on there. I'm not gonna glue him on. I'm gonna paint the grass first and then place him on and I made sure that he fit so that way after everything's painted I can just place him on there, glue him on and he should be good. That'll look really cool I think and then put some grass tufts and stuff on him later but I guess if it's cured I can't put it on yet. <laughs> okay <laughs> this is turning into quite an adventure more so than I think it should have been, but I'm still having fun and I think these guys are gonna look really cool whenever I figure it out. Until then, I'm gonna let these guys dry and then we will figure out how to paint in a few hours. I'll see you then. <laughs>
Okay, uh, where to begin? Um, it's been a few hours now and I think things are looking good. I'm gonna say they're looking good. Uh, the Trigon's looking really good, but so many stumbles to get there. At first I thought, oh, this is the perfect time to use what I learned with the airbrush for this. I'll prime it and then I'll do a nice zenithal and then I'll do the slap chop over it. It'll be great. And then I didn't double check that my airbrush was perfectly clean before I tried it again. And it wasn't clean. I had to spend like 45 minutes trying to clean it out. Then I tried just painting on black on the lictor stuff. And then I did a slap chop over that, but there was no contrast for it to come out. So it just looked you could barely see the color. So I ended up having to come in with my own highlights for acrylics and just hoping it worked. The pink flowers are still a work in progress. I'm gonna try and finish those tomorrow with some other parts of the Trigon I have to finish tomorrow, like the rim and, and cleaning it up and things like that. And then I put a whole bunch more of that earth texture on top so that way it would finish gluing on all of the tall grass I did because it was starting to come off when I was painting, like it was getting all wobbly. And for the rest of my Tyranid fleet that I got from Leviathan, I'm just gonna paint all those flowers and stuff before I even put the texture and stick them on there. Because, I don't know, it was way too difficult to do it after the model was on, for sure. I think at the end of the day, we're in a good spot, but getting there, getting there was interesting. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final touch-ups and the reveal. See you then. The bases I planned on working on this week are done. I both like them and think that I still need to figure out the exact order I'm gonna do it for the rest of the fleet at the same time. The Trigon looks really, really cool. He's in like this grassland, marshy area and he looks really nice. The Lictor, not priming and painting the flowers before I put the figure on, I think really made it difficult to work on. Um, so I'm not too happy with the paint job. I did what I could. And since it's so far away, hopefully people don't notice when I play with him, but I wish it could have been a little bit better. The ones that I did for a whole bunch of the termagants, I think they look good on them. It's thankfully easier to do a whole bunch of these little ones like this. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time, but I was just testing it out because I'd never done it before. I think it's pretty cool. And you guys are right. It really completes the way a mini looks. Like the Trigon looked really cool, but now that he's on his base, he looks like, it definitely made it exponentially cooler. And I'm really glad I did it because I was always like, you didn't really need to base things. I always wondered why people made it such a big emphasis, I guess is the right word, why they emphasized it so much. And I see now, I see it now. <laughs> and you guys are all right. The bases really make the whole piece come together and it looks really, really neat. So that's it for this week. It's a shorter video this week because I just have so many Tyranids to start building and painting and I want to be able to have as much time as possible to work on them. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done all in one video. I'll probably have to do it into like a part one and a part two because it's just a lot of guys, but I'm super excited to do it. And now that I have the basing sort of down for them, I can't wait to see them all together. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any tips or tricks on how to base and what order you do it in, let me know. That way for the rest of them, I can have a really good head start and they'll look really nice. Have a good rest of the week, you guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.